less than a week before students head back to school, Manila school children may not have a bus stop to wait at. Michael Rudolph uh, speaks with the village mayor about what happened to the bus shelter. Mingyi Lao school children who usually catch the bus at this Route 15 bus stop about a mile south of the Atacao turnoff no longer have a bus stop because someone driving a truck demolished it on or about Wednesday, December 22nd. Mayor Nonito Blas says he first learned about this accident the day after, secondhand, not from the Guam Police Department. Sure enough, I drove up here uh, around um, 9 o'clock uh, that morning. And just to my surprise, it's um, totally um, uh, destroyed, and I couldn't believe I, uh, nobody uh, mentioned to me what happened. Bloss spoke with members of GPD's Northern Precinct, who tells us they were the first responders. The mayor was only able to get a fraction of information of what actually occurred. They did this uh, either early that morning, or um, and. Uh, they made a report, they called the ambulance, and uh, it's, they mentioned to me that it was a big um, uh, yeah, pickup truck that ran over it. And uh, so uh, they didn't tell me who, you know, if they got the, uh, the drivers and everything, but they says that the driver finally um, uh, admitted. So I haven't seen the uh, police report. According to GPD spokesperson A.J. Balahaja, the vehicle was a 1997 Ford F-150 and the driver received a citation for running off Route 15 and striking the bus shelter. Bloss says that Public Works is tasked with the construction and maintenance of our public school bus stops. School Bus Superintendent Franklin Titano says the Highway Maintenance Department is working on having the rubble removed before school starts in January. The mini loud mayor says he needs help. He'll build a temporary structure if the Department of Administration will pay his $3,000 or so balances with Hawaiian Rock Products and Jack Peters so that he can obtain the supplies on credit. But he isn't holding his breath. But in the meantime, the uh, kids, around six or seven kids from the Chrysostomo area, uh, family, uh, the parents asked me where I'm going to, uh, how, where they're going to uh, uh, stay in the meantime. Bloss hopes the new bus stop, temporary or permanent, be constructed underneath a street light, unlike the demolished one you see here. As one bus stop goes down, another one goes up here by Atacao Elementary. Mayor Bloss told us, I'm not going to just let this sit here forever. Somebody cares. I'm, I'm depending on the um, bus operations to come up with um, uh, solutions for, for this. The kids are going to be coming out of here um, by the, uh, January 2nd or 3rd. And, um, you know, they need uh, shelter. And um, with their help, we can make things happen. Reporting for Guam News Watch, I'm Michael Rudolph. Looks like Mayor Nito was braving some rain there. Yeah.